web cameras monitoring more than 90,000 polling stations across Russia. This is Vladimir Putin's answer to recent fraud allegations which have sparked unprecedented protests. The cameras were promised by Putin in December after opposition supporters claimed the legislative elections had been largely rigged. 200,000 of the devices have been installed at a cost of 629 million euros by Russia's state telecom company. And it's here in this high security data center at the company's headquarters that the huge stream of footage from those cameras will be processed. It represents more than 100 million gigabytes worth of data. If we pasted all of these images together, you'd need 500 years to be able to watch the whole thing. The footage will be broadcast on election day on a website set up for the occasion. Internet users will be able to choose the polling station they want to monitor by clicking on a map. There is only one condition, to have registered on the website before March the 4th. But the opposition is not convinced and says the cameras will not prevent fraud from taking place. If you install a camera in a cheat's house, he'll always find a way of carrying on cheating. It's all smoke and mirrors. This measure will have no effect. We won't be able to install cameras in all the polling stations. The webcams won't solve the problems we're faced with. The problems will arise once the vote is over, when the ballots leave the polling stations. The images will be available to the public for one whole year after the vote. But even if these web cameras did pick up irregularities, it is not sure whether that could be used as evidence. In last year's elections, amateur videos were widely rejected by Russian courts. Whether Putin's credibility will be able to survive another fraud scandal is another question.